Is this the worst <laughs> fr- trade in franchise history? Three firsts. One and third. million percent. Yes. Yeah. Yes, of course it is. Grant, even if Trey Lance pans out with another team, I- I'm not saying that Trey Lance is the reason why it's the worst trade, but it's 100% the worst trade. Also, though, Brock Purdy might end up being the best draft pick they've ever had behind Joe Montana. Nobody will ever be better than that. But he might end up, if he's a franchise quarterback, that's the second best draft pick, arguably, that they've ever had. So you can have a really good draft pick in Brock Purdy, but that doesn't also mean that this isn't the worst trade in franchise history. It is the worst trade in franchise history. It might be pushing worst trade in NFL history. We don't even know what he is three years in, and he might not even be on this team week one. To spend all that draft capital on a guy who wasn't ready to play. Like, it's it's terrible. Right off the bat, he, he, he went from North, he came from North Dakota State. He took a year off, and you weren't committed to playing him right away. Like, giving all that draft capital for him initially was terrible. Not playing him right a year was, uh, right away was terrible. Um, yeah, like, yeah, it's just awful. And then it could get even worse. It was crazy. Like, so let's say they ended up, trading him for a sixth or seventh round pick and he goes somewhere else and is good. Now it's worse. Oh, or he's good and Brock Purdy isn't good. Like now it's even worse. Like this isn't a, it should be a fireable offense for any other coach doing this is a fireable offense, but it still could be, it's going to haunt Kyle the rest of his career. It could, or he's maybe he's right. But even if he is right about Trey, he sucks. Nothing I can do. Man, why the hell did you trade for him in the first place? You don't even still know the worst trade, though. The, no matter know. what, it's the worst trade. Yeah. If he ends up being really good, it's the worst trade times two. If he ends yeah. up being bad, okay, you still traded for him, and that's that's what's funny, Grant. You got people that are so upset, and not that you're upset by getting money, but are so upset that they're like, you know what, I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spend ten bucks and let Grant know a piece of my mind. Instead of letting the freaking team know a piece of your mind, Grant didn't draft Trey Lance. Grant didn't spend three first round picks on Trey Lance. The 49ers did, but you don't want to hold them accountable. You're not willing to hold them accountable. And I'm not saying fire Kyle Shanahan. We're not to that point yet. If they continue to win and Brock Purdy ends up being the guy, I'm not saying it's a fireable offense, but it is already assuming he's not on this team or ends up being the third string quarterback and never sees the field ever again for this team. It is the worst trade in franchise history by itself. Doesn't mean they can't make up for it. Doesn't mean they can't win a Super Bowl. Doesn't mean that they need to be fired, but he should be held accountable for this situation because it's a standalone situation away from all the rest. Don't be mad at other people that have opinions that you don't like. Be mad at the organization for doing what they did and screwing up this whole situation. Yeah. I mean, I just don't know that many coaches that would have done this. It's just, but also pay so Grant bad. and yell at him. Can the Niners overcome this trade? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. How? They can. They have to win a Super Bowl. Like that's where it's at right now. They have to win a Super Bowl. And Brock has to be the answer at quarterback. Like that, it's a lot. It's going to take a lot. But I think that that's the only fair thing. If they continue to go to NFC Championship games and lose or never win a Super Bowl, the team gets old and then they have to go through a rebuilding phase. Or if Brock Purdy ends up not being the quarterback, this trade becomes even worse. Because a lot of people are talking about like Parsons and Sertan and all those guys. It's really hard to keep depth on a team. And you're starting to see it right now. The depth may not be there this year for the first time in a long time because they did spend so much on Trey Lance that never ended up producing. They did spend a lot on CMC, although he's very good. That's a lot of picks. So how do you restock the cupboard when it's empty if you are paying a bunch of guys big money and you don't have any draft picks? We're starting to see it come to fruition. They have to win a Super Bowl. That's the only way you can overcome this trade. And Brock has to be the real deal. Yep. You can't pivot away from Brock. Maybe Sam. Brock or Sam have to be the real deal. If if, if, if they two, don't win and they go to yeah. to Kirk Cousins, it's it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's yeah. over. I don't think Kyle can. I think he has. I think he's stuck. I think he's stuck with Sam and and Brock. Those are your last two quarterbacks. You don't get to pivot away from them. They gave you they gave you Trey Lance. You did nothing with Trey Lance. You don't get any more big swings at the quarterback position. These are your guys. 
This is it. You didn't want Trey Lance, and you said you like him, but you just like these guys even better. Okay, then they got to be really good. Because if, if Trey Lance had been a bust, he might have gotten more leeway. Like, man, you know, these things happen. But nah, you never even gave him an opportunity because you like Brock and Sam so much more. Okay, then they got to be really good. If they're not, and you don't win a Super Bowl, everyone's going to realize, man, they should have won a Super Bowl. Like, this, this, this whole Super Bowl window was mismanaged. They didn't, they either needed Trey Lance and didn't develop him, or they didn't need Trey Lance and they could have used those picks on other things. One of the two. Because what's crazy is when they traded up for Trey Lance, they were telling us they need a special quarterback to win a Super Bowl. Yeah. Now they're like, we don't need a special quarterback to win a Super Bowl. Like, which one was it, man? We just need an inexpensive one. So does this trade put the Niners on the proverbial clock? Is Kyle Shanahan on the hot seat? Are they suddenly under some real scrutiny and pressure to perform? Yeah, definitely. I, you know what's interesting about this whole thing with Trey Lance is I feel like it's been a crutch for Kyle. The conversation has been about Trey Lance for basically since they've drafted him. Kyle's gotten no heat. Somehow he's skirted by this whole time. And they lose games. They lose the NFC Championship. They try to trade Jimmy. They're unable to. Trey Lance gets ran up the middle. But the conversation always comes back to Trey Lance. Now for the first time, if Trey Lance is your third string quarterback, or he's on another team, the conversation about Trey Lance ends officially. So now everybody starts to realize what's actually going on around here and goes, hold on a second. Wait, you're the one that drafted this guy. And now you're saying you've got two guys that are better, not just one, two guys that are better. So if either one of them are playing come NFC championship time, you're going to win a Super Bowl now, right? And if you don't, what's up? So, yeah, I mean, he's put himself on a potential hot seat. I'm not saying they're on a hot seat now or they should be fired at the end of this year, but, man, if they don't win a Super Bowl, he's done it to himself. And I don't know if anybody would have started that clock. If he decided to play Trey Lance this year and say, listen, we're going to go through the growing pains, that clock wouldn't have started on him. But now it is because he's told like you he, that they've got the guy at quarterback. I feel like Niner fans are down on him, and I feel like they feel lied to. Like, they were patient with they were more patient with Trey than Kyle was. They Kyle mm -hmm. traded up for Trey. He said, Give me some time. We're gonna sit him on the bench. Niner fans are like, cool, 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 cool. We'll wait. And he said stuff like, you know, we really like Trey. And yesterday, yesterday, he said he might be the backup quarterback. I mean, there's still an opportunity for him. And then and then and then he names Darnold the backup. And it feels like I he'll just say whatever. And I think some Niner fans are like, wait a second, man, like. You told us to care about Trey Lance. He's on the team because you traded for him. We cared mm -hmm. about him. And now you get rid of him, and you want us to be cool with that too? For Sam Darnold, who we do know? I think it's just uh, uh, Niner fans are just losing their patience a little bit. For, they've been very patient with Kyle. He's done some good things, but looked at it another way, he's come up short. You know, if he's a great coach, he's the best team, he should win. Like, what is the problem? He just wants to say it's bad luck and injuries. Like, and Niner fans have gone with it. But I think now they're starting to be like, nah, man, it's you. It's you. It's freaking you. So he has another sh uh, season to show that it's not, right? Like, you didn't want Trey. He, he doesn't even matter to you. He's third string. You got Steve Young 2.0 and the real deal and an offensive line that you say is great and a great, like, win the Super Bowl right now. Right now. And if yeah, you no don't. If you come up short, I, I, I think your own fan base is going to be like, you know, man, I'm sorry. We've given you excuses. We don't really see where the future is going here. Because it ain't Trey, apparently. It's what? I mean, Brock is a win-now move. Even the biggest Brock fans realize that he's probably not getting much better than he is right now. So this has to work now. Will it? We'll see. Yeah, I, th uh, I think that's just it, is that you've basically said you can't live through growing pains for a 123-year-old, and then you expect to have no growing pains with another 23-year-old. And so if things don't work out, people are invested in Brock Purdy. Maybe not as much as they are Trey Lance, but Brock Purdy at least was your own, and you named him the real deal. So there's an investment there. If Brock Purdy gets injured or is not as good as people think, there's no emotional investment in, in Sam Darnold. And so if Sam Darnold ends up playing and you don't win, that's a disaster, an absolute disaster. And the frustration goes directly to Kyle Shanahan. 